Hey, Abby, how are you? Haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you. Yeah, how have you been? Hi, Krista, how are you? <laughs> Glad you made it. Hi, Louisa. How are you? Hey, Jeanette, how are you? I'm going to put this in. Lucy, hey. hello. Hey, Jessica, how are you? I bet you are. How was your weekend? Hey, Bella. That's good, Jessica. Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Hi, Lucy. That's okay. But you can take part still, Lucy. I mean, there's people who don't know anything about certain subjects and they end up winning. I think Ravens won a couple that way. <laughs> um... Hey, Nick. Hope you guys can hear me okay. Hopefully I'm not too loud. Make sure I'm getting everybody here. This is not letting me go back. I'm just writing everybody's name down here. You know, wrestling, oh, that's good. That's really good. I'm glad. Yes, please, guys. If you guys could tweet this out, share it out. If you have Twitter or Facebook or whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh, that, yeah, because you, you have a husband that's obsessed. Where is Pixie today? Is he out flying a drone or is he uh, taking a nap? <laughs> Oh, that's okay, Abby. You know what? Like, I say the same to everybody. I'm sorry if I haven't been watching every... Okay, thank you, Krista. Um, I haven't been able to uh, watch everybody's videos so much. That's okay, Nick. Hey, All About Art. How are you? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. That's okay, though. <laughs> um... Now I forgot where I was going with that. Um, yeah, I, what I've done. Hi, Miss Kathy. Um, I, what I've been doing is like I'll take my play, my uh, list of supporters and I'll go start from the top or people I support and I go all the way down to the bottom little by little. Uh, watch everybody alphabetical order. I think I'm down in the eyes between i and j right now so yeah. yeah so that's what i've been doing that way <laughs> that's okay as long as you're having fun to participate hello alex how are you yeah i did i did get a few questions from the old stuff so um yeah it might have might be some different kind too, I don't know. I just basically got everything off the internet, so Okay. So how was everybody's weekend? Aw, oh, thanks, Bella. I love doing them actually. This I figured, you know, um on my lives. I, I want to do something fun with everybody, so... No, you haven't missed it yet, Alex. 
Yeah. Hey, Emily. Emily. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, so I'm going to explain the rules and uh, guidelines. I'm okay. I just woke up, actually. I've been catching up on so much needed sleep while the kids have been gone for the weekend, so. Oh, wow. That's okay. No problem. Just glad that you're here, Miss Kathy. Happy Lux, my friends. How are you? That's good. Okay, so here are the rules, guys. I'll start off with the rules and my little, I guess we could say guidelines. Uh, first things of this is um, I have my chat up on my phone. Um, so because sometimes during my live, I can't see all the answers that pop up. So um, I will go by who comes in first, second, and third on my phone. Um, hey there, Dewey. Um, so if I don't see your answer on here, I'll see it on here. And, um, like I said, like, I'm, I just want you guys to know that I can only go by what I see on my phone. So please don't get upset if I miss your answer or anything like this. Or if you come in behind someone, I can only go by what I see in front of me. Um, so that's it. It's not like I'm giving away gold. I am giving away a screenshotted shout out. So the rules are this. I'm going to ask the question. First three people to pop in the correct answer will get a point. Um, if you guys don't know the answer, I need four people to say pass. If you say pass, then I will give the answer and the first three people to type in the correct answer will still get a point. Uh, first person to 20 wins. The prize is just a screenshot shout out of your channel, just because us small YouTubers, we need a little bit of help with a push with our channel. So I figured a screenshot a shout out for first, second and third place is a good deal. So if you guys are all ready to start the quiz, please give me a thumbs up in the chat and I will get started. Aw, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, I love doing this. It's fun. Patsy, how are you, babe? Good to see you. Hey, Ash, long time no see. All right. Oh, no. Where is it? <laughs> That's okay, Kathy. All right. So, guys, here is our first question. Which of these stars has never been a member of the Four Horsemen? Okay, which of these four? Is it Sting, Kurt Henning, Paul Roma, or Bobby Eaton? So, which of these stars has never been a member of the Four Horsemen? Is it Sting, Kurt Henning, Paul Roma, or Bobby Eaton? That is correct, Miss Kathy. It is Bobby Eaton. Very good. That is the correct answer. And you didn't know anything? <laughs> okay. And Abby. In with a point. And Nick. Okay. All right. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah, I got ya. Alrighty, next question, guys. How is Sunshine related to gorgeous Jimmy Garv Garavan? How was Sunshine related to gorgeous Jimmy Garavan? So Sunshine obviously being the name of a wrestler. <laughs> Don't I take time? No. 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 Married. No. Nope. It's so, not really. No. Nope. Um, uh, the hint I'll give you is: what if it's one of your brother's kids? What do we call that? Where it's 
it's not, let's see, my son and my brother's son are what? My, my son and my brother's son are what? To each other. And it starts with a C. Hey, Lindsay, how are you? That is correct, Mrs. P. It is cousins. It was so fun meeting you on, on Thursday, Lindsay. That was so much fun. So, Mrs. P Jeanette Pickering. Come in with cousins. Miss Kathy. And three ladies. <laughs> Just coming in and getting to points. Hey, Michelle, how are you? I'm glad you came in, honey. Okay, next question, guys. In order to cement his status, Barry turned on one of his allies during a tag team match. Who was this? In order to cement his status, I don't know the guy's last name, it just says Barry. Barry turned on one of his allies during a tag team match. Who was it? <laughs> the hint I'll give you is it starts with an L. His initials are LL. Hey, Angel, how are you? Good to see you, sweetheart. His initials are LL. That's your hint. That's it, Michelle. Wow. It is Lex Luther, or not, <laughs> sorry, my bad, Michelle. No, it is Lex, but what's Lex's last name? Sorry, my bad. Oh my gosh, I got to learn to read better. It's Lex what? Lou, sorry. I'll give it to you. It's Lex Luger. I'm going to give the guys that one because that's my mistake, Michelle. Um, yeah, there you go. Now you got it. Um, so, Michelle. Jeanette. Nick. I know it. That's okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Who were the members of the American males who wrestled together from 1995 to 1996? There's only two members. Who were the members of the American males who wrestled together from 95 to 96? I'll take just first names if you guys know them. Okay. Got our first pass. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, eh? Nope. <laughs> hey, Am Toys, how are you? Hope you're doing good today. Pass. That's two. I got two passes. Yeah, that's it. Ashley and you. <laughs> All right. The I'll give you the answer. First two, first three people to type it in will get a point. Yeah, that's right, Bella. <laughs> Marcus Bagwell and Scotty. I'll take first names. It was Marcus Bagwell and Scotty Riggs, but I'll take the first names on that one. Oh, okay. There we go, Michelle. And Nick. And Jeanette. So, Nick and Mrs. B. All right. Next question is this. What do you call a wrestler who intentionally loses in order to build height for his opponents? 
What do you call a wrestler who intentionally loses in order to build hype for his opponent? <laughs> no. Yeah. Okay, the the word starts with a J. If that's a hint to anybody. Yeah, that's right, Louisa. <laughs> And our sinner smith. Yeah. Well, you got the letter right, Nick. The the word does start with a J. <laughs> All right. The first three I'm gonna give you the answer. First three people to type it in and get the point. It is jobber. J O B B E R. Jobber. I don't know. I guess it's just somebody to fill it in there. Jeanette. Jeanette, Nick, and Michelle. I better watch the three of you, I tell you. <laughs> okay. Where was Mr. Fuji from? Where was Mr. Fuji from? No, he was not from Japan. That is correct, Louisa. It is Hawaii. Louisa coming in with answers. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought he was from uh, Japan or China too, but that is correct. So it is Hawaii. So, and Nick. And Mrs. P. Okay, I'm going to give you point standings right now. Um, in first, tied for first place is Nick and Jeanette, which is Equinox and Jeanette Pickering. And in second place is Michelle's Coloring Vlogs. And in third place is Miss Kathy. Okay, guys, I'm just going to ask a favor that those of you who are getting, um, typing in quick, Please wait until I'm finished asking the question uh, before you answer, if that's okay. Um, because some people are on a little bit of lag and it gives them a chance to to uh, type in, like, to get the question. Sorry, Bella. I hope, um, I hope that'll help. Um, okay, next question, guys. Who were the members of Colossal Connection who wrestled together from 89 to 90? Excuse me. Who were the members of Colossal Connection who wrestled from 1989 to 1990? And these guys were well known. At least one of them. Um... Uh, a hint would be one of them actually has a trophy right now that they give out every, every, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I know, Michelle. I know, you know, SP Entertainment, my dude. You're a little late, but you're still good. How are you, my friend? I hope you are well. I hope you are very well. Crypt 6, welcome. Okay. No. How you doing, Crypt 6? Welcome, welcome. Okay, I'm going to give the answer. I'll take first names, uh, sort of. But if you want to type in the whole thing, I'll give the first three people the um, points. King Haku and Andre the Giant. So they were called the Colossal Connection was King Haku, which is H-A-K-U, and Andre the Giant. First three people to type that in will get a point. There we go, Jeanette. Wow, you, fa you type fast, Mrs. P. <laughs> so we have Mrs. P, Nick, and Michelle. Woohoo, Michelle. 
And there we go. All right, guys. Okay. <laughs> All right, buddy. I'm with you. I'm with you, honey. Whatever you decide to do, let me know. I'll back you, okay? Mr. S SP Entertainment. All right, next question, guys. I know that's okay, Michelle. What is the term for a wrestler who performs? Uh, Sorry. <laughs> what is the term for a wrestler who performs in a manner that generates positive fan reaction? What is the term for a wrestler who performs in a manner that generates positive fan reaction? There's two part. Oh, there it is. Crip six. Hey, Mariska. Long time no see. Callie and Jordan Scott squad. Welcome. This is your first time here. Um, so the first person in with that was got to go down here. I'm going to make sure I don't miss anybody. Okay. So SP entertainment. Oh, no, wait, hang on a second. Okay, Crip6, first one in with that one. And Babyface SP Entertainment. And Nick. Squeak it in there for that point. Now, just give me a second. I always like to write everybody's name that has come in. Because I really appreciate you guys being here. So, sorry about my big finger in the way. Um, we have Callie and Jordan Squad. Please make sure you guys welcome Callie and Jordan Squad. This is their first time here that I've seen them on here. Welcome to the quiz. Thank you so much for coming. And did I miss anybody else? I hope I didn't miss anybody else. Good. All right. Yeah. All right. Next question, guys. Ugh. <laughs> How you doing, Mariska? Good. Okay, next question. Along with Bam Bam Bigelow, who was the first member of the Million Dollar Corporation? Along with Bam Bam Bigelow, who was the first member of the Million Dollar Corporation? And I'll give a hint. He was Russian. Or at least his character was. Aw, thank you very much, Ashley, for that. Guys, me, please make sure that you're supporting my moderators. They're doing a very hard job for you. Make sure the chat keeps going flow. And there's some no mishaps. So I'll ask the question one more time. Along with Bam Bam Bigelow, who was the first member of the Million Dollar Corporation? That's right. That is correct, Callie and Jordan Squad. It is Nikolai Volkov. You are absolutely right. And I don't see anybody else with that. Okay, so Callie and Jordan Squad sneaking in with a point. There you go. You are on the board. We have SP Entertainment and Nick. Yep. Trying to make sure I got everybody right here. <laughs> That's exactly why I gave that hint, Callie. Is it Callie or Jordan on today? A little bit, but you still might squeak out a win. Squeak out a win there, Miss Hopkins. How are you, sweetheart? Okay, I just gotta. All right. Hi, Ruby. How are you? Is Ruby slippers in the house, guys? Make sure you welcome all our our friends to the chat. Ruby Slippers and Hopkins. I just like to write down the names here, guys. So sorry if I'm taking a second here. All right. Next question, guys. That's okay. No worries. What former manager coined the phrase pencil neck geek? What former manager coined the phrase pencil neck geek? Oh, uh, nope. It's not Bobby the... That's it. Or sorry, it wasn't Bobby the Brain. No, it isn't Bobby the Brain. That's what I thought too, but... 
Um, I'll give you a hint. Um, he had blonde hair. He was fairly stocky and he was very old looking even when he was younger. No, it was not Gorilla Monsoon. Uh, <laughs> no, it was not Ric Flair. That is correct, Crip 6. Oh, and another rule, no Googling. No Googling because that's cheating. So Crip 6, that is correct. It is cra Classy Freddy Blassie. And we have Mariska in for a point. And Nick. All right, next question, guys. Who, I'll take... Um, Okay, for this question, I need all three names. So, um, who were the original members of the Dream Team who wrestled together from 1985 until 1988? Actually, I'll take one name for it because it might be hard. Uh, who were the original members of the Dream Team who wrestled together from 1985 to 1988? Okay, we have our first pass. <laughs> yes, I can tell. <laughs> or actually, so there's two people in this one. My bad. I'm reading the question wrong. But there's only two people. So who were the original members of the Dream Team who wrestled together in 1985 to 1988? No, Randy Savage is not one of them. Okay, there's two passes, and he, if uh, you guys don't know it, another one, okay. That's okay, Krista, as long as you're having fun listening and, you know. Okay, so I'm going to give the answer, first three people to type it in, and I, uh, for this, I'll just take the first names, no. Nope is Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine. Brutus Beefcake and Greg Valentine. <clears throat> Come on, Piss P. Type, 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 type. <laughs> Beefcake and Valentine, that is correct, Michelle. Uh, okay, hold on a second. I gotta get Michelle on here. There she is, okay. Brutus and Greg, that is correct, Mrs. P. And Brutus and Greg, Valentine for Abby. There she is. Okay. Next question, guys. Which superstar's entrance music contains the taint of the head of the hair? Sorry. <laughs> Which superstar's entrance music contains the words, they broke the mold when they made me? Which superstar's entrance music contains, they broke the mold when they made me? Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, she's quick today, eh, Bella? <laughs> Damn it. Okay, uh, the hint I can give you is he's a younger, he's part of the newer generation of wrestlers, like not, um, how do I say this? He's got blonde hair, it's curly. Steve, you know who this is. No, it's not Randy Orton. Um, he's a show off. He's, um, hmm. He hey, Andy, RP, my dude, how are you? It's been a slight, I've been a long while. That is correct. Oh, that's okay. Um, gonna write this to Andy, RP. All right, that is correct. It is Dolph Ziggler. Is the correct answer. So SP Entertainment. Dolph Ziggler. So two more people to type that in. And they'll get a, a point. And we have Jeanette and Nick. 
Very good. Okay, so our point standing. Yeah, exactly. The show off. That's right. I knew you'd get it. Okay, so our point standings are this. In first place, we have Equinox Photography for first place. Hey, Bits of Real Panther. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Second place is Mrs. Jeanette Pickering. Uh, Equinox has 10 points. Jeanette has 8. And in third place, Michelle's Coloring Vlogs with 5 points. Oh, I don't like Jinder. Jinder's fake. I don't like him. All right. I am so... Guys, thank you so much for being here. 18 people here in the, in the quiz. Yes, he is Canadian. <laughs> That's right. Okay, Bella. All right. That's okay, Bella. I'm just glad you're here with me. That's all that matters to me. And guys, please make sure that you're supporting each other um, and supporting my moderators. They're doing a good job trying to make sure to keep this chat clean. Um, yeah, it's a fair list. There's the list right now. <laughs> That's okay. It's just fun, right? What championship has John Cena never held? That's right. We're working on it, Andy. What championship has John Cena never held? And that is correct. Intercontinental champion. He has never been the intercontinental champion. And we got SP Entertainment in with that. We've got Callie and Jordan in with that. And Mariska. Yep, the intercontinental championship. You would have thought he would have won that, right? But... Because he's held every other title, pretty much. All right, next question, guys. That's right, yeah, he's held everything. Okay. Edge and Christian. Edge and Christian. Edge and Christian's five-second poses were for the benefit of those with what? Edge and Christian's five-second poses were for the benefit of those with what? That is correct, Crip6. Flash photography. It's exactly what they used to say. SP Entertainment. And Nick. Yeah, that was the saying. <coughs> okay. True or false? That's okay, Andy. <laughs> That's okay. I don't seem to have any young people, in, like anybody too young in here today. So, all right. True or false? At 25 years old, Yokozuna, if I could talk. Hey, Skyheart Demon, how are ya? Thank you so much. Okay, true or false, at 25 years old, of age, Yokozuna became the youngest WWE World Heavyweight Champion. That is correct. It is false. Mariska in with that one. It is false. Callie and Jordan. And SP Entertainment. Okay, it is false because that was actually held by Brock Lesnar. That's okay. Thank you, Abby. Yep, it was actually Brock Lesnar who held that. Okay. Hey! Oh, that's it. Now we're all in trouble. BTD's here. He's going to walk away with the whole quiz. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? Glad you could make it. Welcome, welcome. All right. Oh, you're not leaving, I hope, Mariska. <laughs> all right. Next question, guys. Which former S.H.I.E.L.D. member is the only one to have held the Intercontinental Championship? 
<laughs> so which former shield member is the only one to have held the intercontinental championship that is correct andy rp it is dean ambrose that is correct looking for why is that a bad question now they have i'm just saying this is what i've got from a while ago <laughs> are you complaining sp entertainment yeah me too krista i'm really glad okay take care krista yeah that's i don't know how old these questions are i just get them off the internet so yeah Sure, make sure that we're... No, I got you, Mariska. No worries. Okay. Yeah, I'm doing good. Thank you, Brad. How are you doing, hon? Okay, next question. Now, don't forget. Yes, Andy, what's up? Yes, I can let you know. I'll tweet it out a couple days before. Oh, you did? What kind of camera did you get, Brad? Yes, I can let you know, Andy, no problem. He will be back. Don't you worry. I have a feeling he's coming back at SummerSlam. I don't know. That's just my opinion, but, you know. Okay, no problem. Okay, next question is this. Which superstar was the first of the Divas champ to... Eh. Which superstar was the first of the divas to win the championship? Which of the sup the female superstars was the first to win the divas championship? <laughs> no, it was not Trish. No. Oh, is it? Seems to be okay right now. I'm watching my phone just in case. No, no, not Layla or Lita. I guarantee, you know what? Steve might know this, but it is not Lita. Yeah, yeah, women wrestle. <laughs> you should see, it's pretty intense. No, it wasn't AJ. Um, I'll give you a hint on her initials. It was MM. Me, CD, how are you? Slime lover, good to see you. Hey, Joshua, how are you? Her initials. Melanie, how are you, sweetheart? Good to see you. I'm so glad everybody's here. That is correct, SP Entertainment. It is Michelle McCool. That is correct. <laughs> and Nick getting that in um, let's see if I've missed anybody's Mariska I almost missed you honey sorry about that okay so our point standings are this right now in first place we have Equinox Photography with 13 points in second place we have Jeanette Pickering still with 8 points and in third place, we have SP Entertainment with seven points. Seven points. Okay. All right. Hey, it's all it's Ella Grace. How are you, Ella? <clears throat> okay. Which superstars did Shawn Michaels not partner with to capture the tag team championship? Which superstar did Shawn Michaels not champ not partner with to capture the tag team championship? <laughs> exactly. We need a fire breathing dragon in wrestling. Fire breathing dragons. Nope. Actually, that is correct, CFC. That is right. That is correct. It was Marty Jannetty. Even though he was his partner, 
He did not capture the tag team title tag team titles without him or with him. Um, okay, so Mariska. And Nick. Oh, no, wait. SP Entertainment. Sorry. SP Entertainment came in before Nick. All right. Yeah, we're going old school. Some of these are good. <laughs> yes, that's right. That's right. This is before they started calling him HBK and he had his special music and everything. Okay, next question, guys. At WrestleMania 20, Goldberg defeated Brock Lesnar... With what superstar to act as a special guest referee? At WrestleMania 20, Goldberg defeated Brock Lesnar with uh, what superstar to act as a special guest referee? No, it is not Kurt Angle. That is correct, Callie and Jordan. It is Steve Austin. That is correct. Um, so, crit six. And Nick. Well, um, I'll be there if I can. I can do that if you want. I mean, you don't have to. I'm just automatically volunteering myself to be here with you. <laughs> Listen to me, eh? No, I got you, Marie Sky. I did. Yep. I did, my love. Don't worry. I made sure I got you. Vern Nation in the house. Vern, how are you, buddy? I know I'm a bit goofy today. <laughs> how are you, Vern? Good to see you. Guys, please make sure you're supporting my moderators because they are working hard to keep the chat clean. And to make sure it keeps flowing. Yes. Yes, Vern is here. We haven't seen him in a while. He's a busy, busy man with his family. Hey, Rita. How are you doing, Rita? All right. What to, when do the girls come home, Vern? All right. Next question, guys. Which stoop... Which... Yeah, Vern is awesome. I'm always on his lives, so I never miss him. I'm always on his lives and everything else. I always get to talk to him. Um, uh, and, uh, Vern, I don't know if you have any time today. I need, like, maybe ten minutes. That's it. If you, if we can do, like, a hangout and chat, uh, that would be wonderful. Sorry if I kept bugging about it, but it's just something I need to get off my chest to you. Um, yeah. Thanks, Vern. So, I don't know. Just, uh, shoot me a tweet and we'll work it out, I guess. Okay, next question, guys. Which superstar said this sentence? I'm not the biggest... I am not the strongest, but I am damn sure the toughest. Which superstar said this statement? I am not the biggest, I am not the strongest, but I am damn sure the toughest. <laughs> it's the Twitter, Brad. That is correct, SP Entertainment. It was Daniel Bryan. That is correct. So I need two more people to type in Daniel Bryan and they will get the points. Mariska, my dear. And Nick. Very cool. <laughs> That's okay. I know, Bella. I mean, just you win every time, dude. <laughs> I'm telling you, Bella. My dear, you, you just stop Googling all those answers and <laughs> <laughs> all right next question guys true or false chris jericho holds the record for the longest intercontinental title reign at 454 days so is that true or false that is correct brad it is false btd in with the correct answer ashley That is correct. It is false. And Callie and Jordan. 
Okay, it is false because the record actually belonged to the honky tonk man. The record actually belonged to the honky tonk man. That's pretty cool. Okay, next question. The longest women's championship reign lasted an astounding 10 days or 10,170 days. Which Hall of Famer does the record belong to? <laughs> there is some of those questions in here, Vern. No, no worries. That is correct, Crip Six. It was the fabulous Moolah. That is correct. Nick and Mariska. All right, guys, point standings. First place right now is Equinox Photography with 16 points. Yeah, it should have been. You're right. You're right. SP Entertainment is in second place with nine points. In third place, we have Tide, Mariska, and Jeanette Pickering. Oh, wow, that's awesome. <clears throat> I think I'm at 220, guys, working up there. Congratulations, Vern, that's awesome. All right, next question is, once I flip page, okay. Which of the following superstores is not billed as being from parts unknown? Which of the following, or sorry, let me try that again. Okay, Panther, take care, buddy. Which superstar is not known? Sorry, loser. I have to learn to read. Which of the which superstar is not billed for being from parts unknown? Sorry. No, it's not the ultimate warrior. Um, if you guys say pass, I'll just give you the answer because I really botched that question up. It's not the ultimate warrior. Nope. No. Okay, I'm going to give the answer, guys. And the first three people to type it in will get the point. It is the boogeyman. It is the boogeyman. Just the way I wrote down the question, I guess. That is correct. So we've got SP Entertainment and Callie and Jordan and Jessica. Yeah, that's right. Hello. How are you? I can't, sorry, I can't pronounce your name. Jazz van or whatever. <coughs> okay, next question, guys. Which superstar is not a former NXT, or why do I do this? I don't know. This superstar is not a former NXT championship. Uh, hey, cons girl, how are you? Um, here's some hints. Uh, he has been a partner with Fandango for quite a while. So there's your hint. This person has been a partner with Fandango for quite a while. You might know that one, Vern. That is correct. Callie and Jordan Scott is Tyler Breeze. That is correct. Uh, so we have Callie and Jordan Squad. We have SP Entertainment and Nick. Papa Shango. I know, Aver. See, I just say you don't remember those guys. <laughs> Come on. Papa Shango and Nick. The Fashion Police. That's right. Okay, next question. True or false? Santino Morella debuted in Milan, Italy where he defeated Umaga to win the Intercontinental Championship. Chino Morella debuted in Milan, Italy, where he defeated Umaga to win the Intercontinental Championship. Yes, 
What about Booker T, uh, Stevie Ray and Booker T? All right. SB Entertainment, that is correct. It is true. And Gone's Girl. And I'm just going to give a quick, quick recap of the points, guys. Yeah, Mr. Perfect was my favorite, one of them anyways. In first place, we have Equinox Photography with 17 win. In second place, we have the Entertainment with 12 points. And still tied for second or third place is Mariska and Mrs. Jeanette Pickering. <laughs> Thanks, Goddess. Melody, that's you're so awesome. Thanks, sweetheart. <sighs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, it's just the way it came in, Marie Scott. I can only go by, like I said before, like I can only go go by what comes in order, hun. So no worries. All right. Next question is, what was the first ever wrestling match in 1985? Tag team, I mean. Sorry. That's C. I write down the question wrong. I'm a bonehead. Anyways. <laughs> what was the first ever tag team wrestling match in 1985? Or wrestling match. Okay. You know what? I don't know. What's the first ever wrestling match in 85 or whatever? I'm just going to give you guys the answer to this one. It was Tito versus the Executioner. So that's not even going to count. I don't even know why I write these questions down half the time. All right. This is a whole new question. So guys, forgive me. Scratch that last question. I need to learn to get somebody else to write these down. <laughs> That's right. Legion of Doom is awesome. All right. Complete the sentence. I'm the Miz and I'm... Complete the sentence. I am the Miz and I'm... Awesome. That's correct. Callie and Jordan Squad. SP Entertainment. And in there. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Crip six. My ad, sorry. Wow. <laughs> Absolutely. You're right. And I'm buffering again. All right. Yes. Yes, dear, I will. Absolutely. That's okay, Mrs. P. Just glad you're here. You're still in third place, if that helps. Or second place. <laughs> All right. Next question, guys. Well, welcome back, Jeanette. Which, stup which superstar won the first Money in the Bank ladder match in 2005? Which superstar... On the first Money in the Bank ladder in 2005. <clears throat> no, it was not Dusty Rose. That is correct, Crip6. It was Edge. <laughs> so, Crip6. Uh, like you didn't know that, Steve. Like you didn't know that. I'm trying to play off like you're not knowing these answers. And Callie and Jordan. All right. That's right. You think you know me, but you don't. <laughs> All right. Um, next question, guys. Hey, DFE. That's okay. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've been down to your channel, but... <laughs> Which superstar did Steve Austin defeat? In the 1996 King of the Ring tournament, before coining the Austin 316, Steve Austin defeat in the 96 King of the Ring tournament, before coining the phrase Austin 316. Donnie, yes, that is correct. It is Jake Roberts, Jake the Snake. That is correct, Donnie. 
How are you doing, my dear Donnie? So, to Mariska and SP Entertainment. <laughs> Oh, you <laughs> don't worry, I suck at it too. I'm just got the answers, that's all. <laughs> oh, Vern, you're too much. Okay, next question. Well, Vern, you might know this one. Which of the following has not won the Intercontinental Championship? Was it Chris Jericho, Jeff Hardy, RVD, or The Miz? He may have won it now, but this is, I don't know when these questions were asked. So which of the following has not won the Intercontinental Championship? Mariska, that is correct. It is Jeff Hardy. Vern, I see, I knew you knew it. I knew you knew it, see? See? All right, Mariska and Callie and Jordan. Okay, so I'm going to do quick point standings right now because we still we have a really good competition going here. In first place still is Equinox Photography um, with 17 points. In second place right now we have SP Entertainment with 15 points. And tied for third place is Mariska and Callie and Jordan squad. So here we go. Next question, guys. Which of the... Um... Well, I'm just glad you're here, Ruby. That's okay. Just all having a good laugh. Because trust me, if I didn't have the answers, I wouldn't be getting any either, guys. <laughs> you're going to start answering questions before I ask them, Bert. <laughs> Okay, true or false? The Rock won the World Tag Team Championship titles pairing with The Undertaker. True or false? The Rock won the World Tag, T Tag Team titles pairing with The Undertaker. Wow, Bella, that is true. Bella has a point on the board. It is true, you are correct. Nick keeping his lead and Mariska and it was December 18th 2000 and the match was against Edge and Christian yeah I know it was a match against Edge and Christian yes it was SP okay yeah, way to go, Bella. Very cool. See, these ones, just type in one, you're liable to get it, right? Right, Bella? <laughs> Coco Beware was awesome. CSC, you know what? Absolutely awesome wrestler there. Sure, Vern. We'll go with that. Um, okay, uh, next question. Uh, <laughs> which Hall of Famer was the first ever Intercontinental Championship in 1979? <laughs> you, you know, Steve usually donates his points at the end there, Vern. We might get some. <laughs> uh, which, of the which Hall of Famer was the first ever Intercontinental Championship in 1979? Yeah, you'd think, eh? Nope. That is correct. SP Entertainment. It was Pat Patterson. Very good. That is correct. Mariska. Did Donnie say it? See, I'm missing these. Okay, and Donnie Shaw. Okay, sorry, Donnie. Man, who? <laughs> Wait, what? I usually, Vern, your wait, what? I usually go, excuse me? <laughs> That's right. Thank you very much for letting me know that, though, Steve. Or sometimes I do miss it. All right, next question, guys. 
Yeah, and Vern, you know what the kids are like, right? You tell them something, they look at you like a dog does when you get when you ask them something, they're like, huh? Eh? <laughs> uh, okay, next question. How many WrestleMania events have taken place outside the U.S.? Now, like I said, you got to remember how old these questions are. Okay. I know they <laughs> like, what do you say? Or the thing that comes in to mind, Vern, is that what you're talking about, Willis? No, it is not for. Uh, you got to remember, this is an older question, so it might not have all the other WrestleMania since then. <clears throat> That is correct, Vern and Jessica. I'm just going to look back here to make sure nobody else said it. Vern, 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 Vern. Uh, it is two. Sorry, I should have said that. Jessica, that is correct. It was two. And Nick holding on to his lead, boy. Okay, and it says here that the, it was WrestleMania 6. And WrestleMania 18, and they were both in Toronto. That is correct, CFC. That is correct. Yes, exactly. That's why you didn't know it, Donnie. <laughs> Aww. Oh, that's not right. So Vern got a point on that one. Okay, next question, guys. Which pay-per-view event did Chris Jericho become the first undisputed champion? Which pay-per-view event did Chris Jericho become the first undisputed champion? Yay! I'll be your new cousin. Yay! Nope. 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 I know everybody's going to start naming all the pay-per-views. If I get four, four people to pass, I'll give you the answer. And then the first three people to type it in will get the point. Nope. Okay, I'm going to give a hint. It is usually if someone hurts someone in your family, you seek this. Is the name of the pay-per-view. So if someone hurts someone in your family, you go after them seeking what? There's another word for it, Nick. It starts with a V. And it starts with a V. That is correct. BTD is vengeance. Pay-per-view was Vengeance. Bella gets point. And Vern. See, this is why you should have been here at the beginning, Vern. You would have walked away with this. <laughs> oh, Louisa. How are you, Louisa? I haven't seen an answer from you in a bit. I was beginning to worry if you were still there, sweetie. <laughs> That's right. Yep. Yep, Brad, you got two points. You're going to walk away with this. Okay. Point standings as it is right now. We have Equinox Photography in first place with 19 points. He needs one more to win. We have SP Entertainment in second place with 16 points. And give your points to Vern. <laughs> hey, Gomez, how are you? And in third place, we have Mariska with 12 points. Good to see you, Gomez. Yeah, you're six points away. Uh, all right, next question. Complete this catchphrase. To be the man, you've got to beat... So to be the man, you've got to beat... That is correct, SP Entertainment. That's you got to beat to be the man. you got to beat man. Johnny Shaw... That is correct. And Nick. Nick has won. Congratulations, Nick. Way to go. 20 points. 
In second place, we have SP Entertainment. So, Steve, I will give you the choice. Who would you like to donate your points to, second or third place? Or just kind of divvy them up as it goes. And in third place is Mariska. Half to each. Okay, so Mariska is in third place. So... So, Mariska is now in second place, and Callie and Jordan squad. All right, so our winners are Equinox Photography, Nick in first place. In second place, we have Mariska. And in third place, we have the Cali and Jordan squad. Congratulations, guys. So glad that you guys came out. Um, thank you so much for everything. I'm so glad that you guys were able to join me today. Now, I have a bit of an off quiz. I'm not sure how many people are going to turn up. But uh, tomorrow, hopefully at 3 p.m., if I don't fall asleep. No, I'm just joking. Um, that's okay, Donnie. I'm just glad that you were here. Um, on Monday, I'm going to be doing a bit of fishing trivia. So if anybody knows anything about fishing and stuff like that, there's going to be some different questions. Um, so if you guys want to just come to join and have fun and whatever, uh, I would greatly appreciate, appreciate seeing you there. So yes, thank you so much, Steve. You're such an awesome guy. Hopefully you do make that. Yeah, see Vern. So tomorrow, usually I do it at 3 o'clock my time. Is that good for you to come and join? Yes. Yes, my love. This is my YouTube hubby here, Mr. Boss Man. <laughs> yeah, I love fishing. absolutely okay awesome all right guys thank you so much for joining me congratulations to my winners when i post my next video your shout outs will be on there so i hope you all enjoyed the quiz today thank you so much for joining mine of fishing <laughs> oh, bella grocery stores yes <laughs> uh, thanks you so much for joining my quiz i hope you guys all have a wonderful day god bless everybody take care